Wedding photography is a great niche to get into, especially if you want to make some good money. There's some good money in wedding photography. But for a new photographer or someone who's trying to transition to wedding photography, it can be tough to get that first wedding. And a lot of people just don't know the right steps to take to book that first wedding and get things rolling. And in this video, I'm going to give you five simple things you can do to book your first wedding photography client. Let's talk about it. What's going on, fam? Welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to have you here and excited to give you some valuable information to help you book your first wedding. So before I even get into the tips and steps you need to take, I want to talk about how we booked our first wedding. So our first wedding came pretty easy to us. We didn't actually have to do a lot of work. So it pretty much happened because my barber uh, was getting married and he followed us on social media, him and his future wife. And one day I went in to get a haircut and he mentioned it to me. He was like, hey, do y'all do wedding photography? I see y'all do other types of photography, but do y'all do weddings? And I was just straight up with him. I was honest. I told him we hadn't done any, any weddings, but we've been thinking about doing wedding photography. And he was like, you know, I'm getting married and um, yeah, I'd love for y'all to shoot my wedding pretty much. Shortly after that, his wife reached out and that was that, we got the booking. So like I said, it was pretty easy. And you know, that's not always gonna happen with any kind of niche that you wanna, wanna get into that the client is just gonna kinda fall in your lap. But as you can see in certain cases, like people recognize that you're a photographer and that you do photography and you don't actually have to shoot that specific type of photography for people to just wanna work with you. And this is why I always recommend just pitting yourself out there because you never know what's going to come from it. Like just, you know, being honest with people and just posting on social media and just always putting it out there. Even when talking to people that you're a photographer, just letting people know what you do. And that brings me to tip number one, and that is to build your portfolio and post online. And don't write me off. Don't click off this video. I know you're like, man, that's a super basic tip. Like I didn't heard this before, but you know what? Sometimes you need to hear stuff multiple times before it sticks in your head or before you just take action, you need to hear it over and over and over. And I know some of you may be thinking like, don't I actually have to, you know, shoot wedding work to get potential weddings? And you don't, as you can see by the story I just told you. So just by building your portfolio, like I said, this can be any niche of photography. You know, it's just the fact that you're out there shooting and you have some kind of work to show. And when you're in the beginning stages, like, a lot of people know that they can kind of tell you're a beginner photographer just by the way you talk, uh, just the way that you put it out there. But honestly, some clients, they, they just don't care. And some clients, they just look at it like, you know, they see the work you post online. They see that you're out here shooting. So they think you can do pretty much all types of photography. So the key with this is not just to build your portfolio, but to put it online. So you can't be afraid to, like I kind of said earlier, to put yourself out there and consistently show up. I think as a beginner, this is a great way to build momentum and just to get your name out there. That's probably one of the most important things when you first start photography is you want people to know that you actually do photography. So you have to pitch yourself out there, whether it be through free ways like posting on social media or maybe building a website or, um, you know, a lot of beginners don't really use paid advertising, but that's also an option. All right, so coming in at number two, and I know this may ruffle some feathers and some people may not agree with this, but honestly, I don't even care and I think this is a really good tip. So that tip is to charge a low price. And the way I like to look at this is if you're trying to get in the door, sometimes you just have to maybe sacrifice things or do things a certain way just for the time being. That's not saying that you should always like charge a low price or devalue yourself. I know some people may be screaming, oh my God, He's teaching people to devalue themselves and hurting the industry. No, like when you're just starting out, man, you got to get in the trenches. And how do you get in the trenches? Sometimes you just have to do what you got to do to get the client. And I'm not saying you can't, you know, start off at a high price and maybe you just have an amazing brand and somebody stumbles upon that and they want to book you. But I'm going to just say this. It's going to be hard to convince somebody to book your wedding photography services if you have no work to show and you got to keep in mind for wedding photography you're paying a good amount of money so how many people are actually going to pay you know thousands of dollars when you have no work to show so get your foot in the door charge a low price you can always raise your prices as you gain more clients but the key with this is to actually get your foot in the door and build momentum with your wedding photography and just to add on to that so you know what we charge for our first wedding we charge one thousand dollars all right, so tip number three is to go to your family and friends 
that you know are getting married. And once again, this is about being proactive and actually putting yourself out there to get the client. I also think this is another super easy way just to get your foot in the door. And being that, you know, this person is your friend or their family, then they're most likely going to let you do it. And something else you can do is tell your family and friends if they know of anybody that's getting married to just let you know about it. And honestly, the approach I would take to this when reaching out to family and friends is I would just be honest with them. Let them know that you're a new photographer. You know, you're trying to build your clientele and if they don't mind if you shoot the wedding. And once again, this tip is about being proactive. You cannot just sit around and just wait for a client to fall in your lap because you're gonna be sitting around forever. It just don't work like that in all situations. So you have to go out there and put in the work. Now you can use this strategy on Facebook or Instagram, it really doesn't matter, but personally I think the best way you could go about this is using Instagram. So what I would do is search like local planners, venue, and just like wedding groups and things like that because what you're gonna find is potential brides in these locations and groups and stuff like that. So after that, what you wanna do is follow these people and engage with them. And the key with this is like genuine engagement. You don't wanna just be straight DMing people just saying, hey, I wanna shoot your wedding or whatever. Now I have heard of that strategy working for some people where they just go for the kill. They go straight to the DMs and say whatever, but I recommend just genuine engagement, like liking their photos, maybe replying to a uh, story. You know, just trying to start up a conversation and not like making it seem like you're just trying to book this client. Now, once again, this is just like letting people know about who you are and what you do, because in a lot of cases, some of these people may see you follow them or like some pictures and they may go to your profile and see that you're a photographer. All right, so the last tip I have for y'all is to do a styled shoot. So style shoots are something that we have done and they work pretty good from us. And I think we could have done a lot better knowing what I know now when it comes to these style shoots, but it's definitely something that can really help you out when it comes to booking weddings. So a style shoot is pretty much getting a, you could do like a bridal style shoot. So that's just the bride, or you could do where you have the bride and the groom. So you're pretty much collaborating with vendors or you could do this by yourself. So what you're trying to do is to make this look like an actual wedding or a married couple, you know, having them wear pretty much what a real married couple would wear, like the wedding dress, just dressing up like it's their wedding day and just taking photos of them. And with the style shoot for me, it's pretty much just giving people an opportunity to see what you can do in the form of, you know, wedding content. Because like I said, let's say you have no content starting out. Okay, let's do kind of like a mock wedding or a style shoot. And now I have content that I can put out to show people, hey, I can shoot weddings. Now, if you do go this route from experience, I do recommend collaborating with people just because I feel like you can get more out of this style shoot. So think of people within the wedding industry that you can collaborate with like florists, dress shops, venues to help you bring together this style shoot. And plus when you collaborate, I just feel like you can get more eyes on your work and you'll have these different vendors and stuff sharing your work and just building connections with these vendors, which can bring you in future bookings. And if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this other video that I have where I talk about different light modifiers that I use for wedding photography. If you wanna check that out, I'll link it right here in the card up top. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel. I post photography content every single week and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.